What a great view to wake up to this morning. Oh my goodness. So, uh, we were just staying overnight, so I've already started uh, packing stuff up. Buffy's being extremely helpful. <laughs> so yeah, packing everything up. Got my morning coffee right here. I'm not getting paid for this product placement, but it's good stuff. Buffy, can you go grab the chair over there? Go get the chair, please. Oh, and that's funny too. The ground here is kind of, probably kind of hard on her paws and she didn't want to sleep on her blanket, but she <laughs> hopped right up there and made herself home, so. Oh, now you're making a liar out of me. Mm-hmm. One last look around, make sure we got everything. I always hate leaving, but. <laughs> I hate, you know, now that I'm an adult, I hate leaving for two reasons now. The first one is just the general whole leaving aspect. And then the second one is packing to leave and then unpacking and cleaning up when you get back home. Huh, oh, Buffy? You ready to go? See if this old beast will get us back down the mountain? All right, come on, baby. You can do it. And this is what gives me my racing stripes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, good thing I don't have a new vehicle. I wouldn't be bringing it up here, that's for sure. By top of the mountain. This would not be a good spot to lose your brakes. <laughs> Look at that. It looks like you just fall right off the face of the mountain, which in all honesty, you probably would. Look at that, can't even see it. Can't even see the edge. Look at her, guys. Now I know why they call him man's best friend. Look at her. <laughs> She's been so entirely cool this whole trip. But anyway, okay, I'm gonna concentrate on this uh, downhill climb here. Nope, it's not nighttime. It's just after nine o'clock. We made it up out of bed, got everything like put together, packed, and made it down off the mountain by, uh, let me let me be accurate here, because I don't wanna, oh yeah, 8.50, 8.50 p.m. A.M., sorry, A.M. Um, and it's so weird because it's starting to get really warm up there once the sun hit. But down here, it's like, eh, look at that. It's still nice and cool down here, huh, Buffy? Welcome to the town of Leavenworth, Washington. L-E-A-V-E-N-W-O-R-T-H. This is a Bavarian village. Leavenworth is deeply rooted uh, uh, German. So like uh, Oktoberfest, yeah, this is what it's all about. This is Oktoberfest town right here. And of course that truck's, you see the sign? Can you see the sign? That truck's gonna get in my way. All right, gosh dang it. The sign's right there, see it? See it? I just got internet service, so I think that the vlog might actually be up uh, almost, almost on time today. That's kind of crazy. So absolutely every building and all the signs in this town have the Bavarian theme. In order to construct anything in here, you have to be like authorized. This is not where I want to turn. Oh, I'll turn up here. That's good. Even the subway. See, look at that. Subway and 76th station. Everything. Bavarian themed. Very awesome little town. Hi, Buffy. This is so funny. So, hotspot enabled. <laughs> Uploading video out of the back of my truck. <laughs> Buffy's like, what? What are you doing? So, we got 60% left. Time-wise, it's not that bad at all. I got four minutes remaining. That's freaking awesome. You want out? Let's get you out. Look, guys, the oasis is still here. Look at this. This is like a little swimming hole. <laughs> wow, there's actually a lot of water uh, flowing. Usually, I didn't think it was this far up to the shore, but yeah, look at the water. Look how clear it is. Oh, beautiful. I was thinking about maybe coming down here and getting wet with the GoPro. I don't know if she can swim or not. Maybe today we'll find out. I mean, I'm so serious. This is like your own little... Well, I mean, if there's other people here, then it's not going to be your very own, but... This is like your beach, man. This is like your oasis. All dogs need to be kept on the leash, so I'm gonna go test the waters out, 
And then I guess we'll bring her. So here's the GoPro in its uh, dive housing. Putting electronic devices in water, not exactly uh, something that we want to do. That's why we all close the toilet lid so our cell phones don't fall on the toilet, right? Because of that magnetic pole that toilets have with electronic devices. Alright guys, so we are right here, and what this used to be, this used to be like an old uh, dam years and years and years ago, so it's very easy to get wet, it's very difficult to dry off, so we're going to take a little walk and hopefully uh, Buffy will get dried off. Going down the trails, hoping we don't get lost, because that would suck. This, this has been a fun trip, I've enjoyed myself so much. Oh, Blackbird Island, that's where we're going. Let's go to... Blackbird Island. Arr. Oh, see, I was mistaken. It was a uh, lumber mill. So we haven't even made it that far, and already we're seeing, like, interesting things. You want to have a seat, Buffy? Wow. So here's the uh, one of the bridges to get to this, uh, this island. Look how clear the water is. Isn't that gorgeous? Do you guys see any fish? Oh, I see a fish. Oh, wow, I do. Step back, strap the camera up, make sure I don't drop it. That would suck. There it is, right at the edge of that rock. Hi. There, can you guys see the fish? <laughs> oh no, I wasn't wrong. See, I knew it. The Lamb Davis Lumber Mill built a dam downstream. Aha! Aha! I knew it. Hey, look. There's some uh, old uh, dikes from the uh, old uh, lumber mill. I love history. You know, I'm really starting to get into history the older I get. When I was young, it was like, history, it's already happened. Who cares? Let's concentrate on the future. And now it's like, wow, history is like really, really interesting. This is the part of town, the part that you will find absolutely no parking, but I decided to bring you guys down here anyway. I was gonna stop and get a bratwurst and take a look at some of the shops, but honestly, it's way too busy right now. And at this point, I can stop and get a bratwurst um, on the way home for cheaper. So, oh, they even got like art going on today. That's cool. Unless I just happen to find some parking, but all these people right here are also looking for parking, so. I don't think I will be successful. So anyway, it's a very nice, quaint little town. Uh, however, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna head back. So that's Napa Auto Parts. This right here is their liquor store. Over here is a, uh, a food market. Basically, I think like uh, just a regular food shopping grocery store. Um, we're headed out guys. We are headed out. Uh, I plan this trip extremely well because I'll be, uh, well I'm leaving a little early actually because I don't want to hit rush hour traffic when I get back home. Yeah, Friday, rush hour traffic, 
great planning, Troy. You know, I seriously think I could live here. I don't know about the winters, though. That would take some getting used to, but you know, I, I seriously think I could live up here. So beautiful, the air smells so fresh. Oh, and here's the uh, the river that we, uh, the Wenatchee River is the one that we went and we swam in and Buffy swam in for the first time. Woo! And you can't see it. Or can you see it? Can you see it? I can't, I'm not looking right now, see? See, I'm not looking right now. I just point the camera and shoot. Well, I guess I can look uh, on the bright side. At least I didn't try leaving town on a Friday. I, I wasn't even gonna film this, but this pack up is like seven miles long now. It's pretty ridiculous. This, uh, we're on Highway 18 now. Uh, that, those people over there are waiting to get onto I-90. <laughs> They're gonna be waiting for just a little while. Oh my goodness. See all the camping trailers and bicycles on the back and RVs. Yep, yep, people going out of town. Like that guy there. And now we're back home. And it took us a lot longer than what it should have. Oh my goodness. I thought by leaving early that, you know, we might get here in decent time. Not leaving early and getting here a lot later. Anyway, remember what I just got through saying a couple minutes ago about leaving? Yeah, now I gotta deal with all this and I figured I'll clean the truck out too. So the majority of this evening is gonna be organizing, cleaning, putting away, laundering, everything except money. Don't launder money, not a good idea. Kind of illegal, I think, isn't it? Laundering money. Yes, yes, that's it. Never mind, of course it's illegal. <laughs> Hi, did you have a good time? First time swimming. That's <laughs> so awesome. Unfortunately, the GoPro was just like any other camera, and when she actually did her first swim, I thought I was recording and I wasn't. I only took a still photo. So, uh, I have to start learning how to use my technology. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, uh, cleaning stuff. Got everything out of the truck, got the truck cleaned, vacuumed the truck. Um, it's ready for tomorrow. I do see my uh, son tomorrow. We're spending the day together. Um, so I gotta get my butt to bed. Oh, really? It's been a very long day. Uh, waking up earlier, and, and last night I only got like, I think like four hours sleep because I was up until like three o'clock in the morning with the vlog rendering because I was using the jump box and then the jump box started to get low so I had to uh, charge it with the truck and I had to turn the truck on so <laughs> oh the behind the scenes stuff that you guys have no idea about uh, COC from last night Cap Zone 2 first view you were first congratulations Borgex 2679 Troy you left out the outro um, yeah I did exactly like I said I was gonna do. I actually said it twice that I was leaving out the outro. Maybe you missed it, I don't know. Darth Anger, this wasn't up too late at all. Uh, no, I was I, I was planning on it being up late because I thought that I would have to do like uh, Wi-Fi through like McDonald's, but I actually had a hotspot on my phone, which is like really fast versus McDonald's Wi-Fi, which uploading a vlog is like two hours, maybe three, hoping you don't get disconnected. Mary Winton, you say that you don't think that you could trust your dogs without a leash. Beagles, darn noses. Yeah, my old dog, that's why I'm so scared about hers, because my old dog was a beagle, and yeah, she got out, she was gone. <laughs> she was gone. Wherever her nose took her is where she would go, and she wouldn't listen to you for anything, and I think that's just a beagle thing. The Energized, I bet you could have easily camped out for a few more days. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, and you, you say, so be honest now, did you get scared up there in the dark? Uh, sorry, just yawned. No, I did not get scared in the dark. I do lock all my doors. And I, I do have this vision of, you know, looking up in the back of the truck out the window and waking up and seeing a face peering in and staring at me. Um, but the real life scare came this morning and I didn't vlog it because I thought, I, I didn't think much of it. But I've done some research now. Um, I found some poop in the morning, some scat, and it wasn't pellet form, so that rules out moose and deer, and that's, and, and it wasn't long and stringy, and that rules out, like, bobcat, mountain lion, um, it, it was plentiful, and it was pretty big, and it had not baked in the sun, 
all day. So it was fresh. I think it was a bear. Now, I've never seen a bear up there, but that's the only thing that I could think of. Either that or Buffy like totally unloaded, but it was it was big. It was way too big for her. So yeah, I don't know. Tarkus said, beautiful area looks like Bigfoot country. Tony Fredrickson, I truly believe that Bigfoot exists. I saw a statue of Bigfoot and I was going to stop and get a picture of it. I should have done that now that I know that you guys are bringing up Bigfoot. And the final comment of the night, Tony Fredrickson, you went to extreme effort to share with us again. After trying the vlogging challenge, is so get what you do for us. I, I know what you meant. I, I didn't understand that, but I, I get it. Thank you. Uh, you say, dude, thanks. I mean... More worried about your sleeping conditions than meteor footage. Enjoy the solitude and let us know if you see Bigfoot up there. Oh, the third person mentioned Bigfoot. What? Wow. All right, guys. So uh, thank you. Happy haunting. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Buffy's tuckered out. I need to get to bed. So tomorrow's a new day. Just like any other day. Let's make it a good one.